This is the Nikon L35 AF, and it might be my favorite point and shoot film camera for street photography. I've had this camera for a little bit over a year now, and it's honestly one of my favorite uh, cameras to just throw in my bag and, and shoot casually with. For today's video, I wanna go out and do a little street photography with this camera. Um, and kind of go over some of the features and why I like it so much. Now there are a ton of 35 millimeter point and shoot cameras and you know this one developed by Nikon over 40 years ago hits on just so many different things that I want from a camera for just run and gun point and shoot street photography. This thing is pretty much a plastic brick but I would not judge this plastic brick just by its looks. For a point and shoot camera the photos that come out of this thing are super sharp. It's hard to explain but this camera sort of produces its own character to the images. I think it's through like the way this, this lens just sharpens images. It, it comes out really punchy and contrasty and I actually like that for uh, street photography photos. It's not often that you find a camera that kind of adds its own unique style to the images it makes. I was able to do some shooting with this for today's video around Midtown New York and I put in a roll of Cinestill 800T. Um, probably not the best uh, film stock to showcase how a camera performs but you know I was interested to see how it would do. This isn't really a review anyway of this camera, just a fun little video where I'm gonna shoot with it. But I shot around Midtown, New York with this camera and here's how it went. gone didn't you so here I'm loading up a, a roll of cine still 800t um, usually we associate cine still 800t with night photos just cuz you know it's an 800 ISO uh, film stock um, but it's definitely an underrated film stock for shooting during the day and especially for street photography setting the camera's internal ISO dial to 800. Being at 800, I'm going to be able to quickly react and take photographs, and not really have to worry about, you know, images being blurry. The only case I would have to worry is if I didn't focus um, on what I wanted to take a photo of, and there's some cases of that happening later on in this video. Now, as the name suggests, it says AF because that stands for autofocus, and yeah, there, there is an autofocus system in this tiny piece of plastic and it's actually somewhat reliable. As you see here, I'm going to stretch my arm up and take this photo of this guy in this truck. Um, in the moment, I did not expect uh, to get his hand in focus. I think it's slightly out of focus here. see this guy hosing down the street and I try to see if I can like play with that um, moment and have someone kind of walking in front of me in the foreground um, and have him in the background looking like he's shooting right into the person who's walking by me. 
I almost had it here. Uh, I think I was just a fraction of a second too late. Um, if she was behind a little bit more, it would have worked. But, you know, in the moment, I have no idea if I get this shot or not. So, you know, I kept on moving after I took the shot. So I'm approaching this lady here who has a stroller with a balloon attached to it and here you can see I, I get the shot but it's not fully in focus so this is one instance where the camera didn't really focus on what I wanted it to. Um, I could have or maybe should have taken my time here a little bit better just because that, that balloon is reflective so you know in hindsight I probably should have uh, you know, played around with that a bit more, maybe uh, see if I could get myself reflected inside that balloon, or even just get a photo that was in focus. Um, but yeah, you, there's really no way to tell if you're in focus or not, and that's what uh, kind of uh, scares me sometimes when I'm shooting with point-and-shoot cameras like this. Um, you just have no idea if you're really in focus or not. Thankfully with this camera you can actually pre-focus. So if you half press the shutter button, it's going to focus on what you're aiming at. And that's actually super handy. So you could half press and then keep your finger half pressed on the shutter and until you approach something that was that distance so you can kind of bypass having to focus on that subject. You're more likely to get the shot quicker and in focus because you already pre-focused beforehand. I don't think I really ever did that um, during the shoot. Um, but yeah, that's just something that you can do with this camera, which is pretty cool. So now I'm in Washington Square Park. I was hoping there would be a lot more people out here because it's it's one of the best places for street photography, in my opinion. Uh, this day, there was barely anyone out here, so I don't spend too much time. So I get this shot here, and this is one of those shots where you know you just take it and you know, like just hope and see like what you end up getting from it. Um, and I got a lot more than what I thought it would. Uh, I was trying to get this shot of this guy who was about to bite into some pizza, but I got this lady in the background who actually didn't even notice um, when I was taking this photo. She has her laptop and phone on her lap, and her <laughs> hands are. You know, going up and down and she's talking on the phone sort of like that you know she's really in a heated uh business meeting or whatever at a bus stop waiting for the bus and then you have this guy walking by with some pizza and these two ladies kind of looking right at me strangely it says masks required on this bus and you know not a single person in this image is wearing their mask properly classic america I see this poster of an eye and I kind of want to play around with that a bit more so I wait around for a couple minutes. Ideally I want someone walking sort of close to the wall and looking directly at me so that it kind of matches with the eye that's looking straight at me.
I see this guy walking up towards me and I snap his shot. Not exactly what I was looking for. You know, he, I do like how he was like fixing his mask in the moment. Um, he's wearing sunglasses, unfortunately, so you don't see his eyes. Uh, yeah, not what I was looking for, but I have a short attention span, so I kept on moving. Now this is what happens when you're not very conscious of where your strap is. Uh, I had it wrapped around my wrist, but it ended up getting into my photo. Here I end up uh, stopping my recording on my GoPro, and I just get some shots in this crosswalk, and this is what I ended up with. I like this shot at the end here. I just like how the light was hitting two of these um, people in this photo and how her hair is sort of blowing in the wind. And I kind of like how the graphic on this truck um, sort of <laughs> mirrors the way her hair is blowing. So that about wraps up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more photos or videos of me shooting with this camera in the future, maybe with you know a different film stock, maybe Portrait 400 or something like that. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.